What's up, I'm Vin, and today I want to go through this airplane trig problem. So take a second to read through this. Now the first thing I would do is just draw this out. And we have a point on the ground, and the plane is at a 45 degree angle to that point on the ground. So this is our 45 degree angle. This is the point on the ground that we're talking about, and the plane is up here. I'm not a great artist, and you don't necessarily have to draw a plane, but there's our plane. So what we have going on here is that 15 seconds later, the plane, the angle of elevation, which is here, is going to change to 30 degrees. So you could imagine this, that the plane is now going to be at this location, and the new angle of elevation, 15 seconds later, is switching to 30 degrees. So what we're trying to find with all this information is what is the speed of the plane? So one thing to consider here is that the plane is flying horizontally at a height of 4,000 meters in the same direction. So that tells us that in both of these triangles that the vertical distance here is going to be 4,000 meters. So that's not changing. The plane is flying horizontally. So that we could label and is going to stay constant in both triangles. But we have to think about what is speed. And speed I'm going to label here as the change in x over the change in time. And x in this case is going to represent our horizontal distance. And t is going to represent our time. So this is ultimately what we need to plug into the formula to find the speed of the plane. And we know the time is 15 seconds, so we have to find what is the change in the horizontal direction. So I'm going to label this first x as x1, and I'm going to label the second x of the red triangle. This piece, this piece here we're going to call x2. So just be mindful here that the change in x is going to be equal to x2 minus x1, because that represents how much the plane travels within that 15 second interval. Notice that the plane right now is here, and it's going to move that distance, x2 minus x1. So I would start this off. We have to think, if we draw the triangle separate over here, and I'm going to draw like a smaller version of it. First, the blue triangle, we have 4,000. And I'm going to put the units at the end. And we've got x1, and then this is 45 degrees. So what we could use is the tangent function. We could say tangent of 45 degrees. And one thing that's jumping out at me right away, this is a 45, 45. 90 triangle, so this is an isosceles triangle. So I know right away this is going to be 4,000, but let's pretend this wasn't a nice angle. We could use the tangent function at 45 and say it's equal to 4,000 over x1. And then here, because tangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1, we have 1 equals 4,000 over x1, and this will tell us that x1 is equal to 4,000. So, so far we have the value for x1, but now we want to find x2. So now we'll draw the second triangle out here, and now what we have is we have a 30 degree angle over here, and the altitude is still 4,000, and then this is representing x2. So we would still use the tangent function. We could say tangent of 30 degrees equals 4,000 over x2. And now from here we could cross multiply, and what we could do even before we cross multiply, maybe we'll go back a step, is we could actually evaluate tangent of 30 degrees. So I'm going to get rid of this part. Tangent of 30 degrees is equal to radical 3 over 3. So this is going to be equal to 4,000 over x2. And now if we cross multiply, we're going to have radical 3 times x2 is equal to 3 times 4,000 is 12,000. Now just divide both sides by square root 3. And this tells you that x2 is equal to 12,000 divided by square root 3. So now we have enough information to find the speed of the plane. So the speed here is going to be equal to, we're going to have x2 minus x1. So we have 12,000 over the square root of 3 minus x1 was 4,000. So once again, the plane is already starting at like a horizontal displacement here of 4,000 meters. So we're just seeing how much it goes from this point here to this point here. So that's why we're subtracting these two. And remember, the units for x1, x2 is meters. We were talking about meters at the start of the question here. So we have this many meters divided by the change in time is 15 seconds. So I'm going to press alpha y equals enter to pull up a blank fraction. And we're going to have 12,000 divided by square root 3. And now we're subtracting 4,000 and then dividing this difference by 15. And we'll round to the nearest thousandth place. So we have 195.214. So let's simplify here. We have the speed of the plane is equal to 195. 0.214 meters per second.